Hey, before everyone watches this following video here, I want to make a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, I want to say this video might be a little bit rambly and a little bit incoherent, and I'm not talking in the normal rambling and incoherent manner that I usually do most of my videos. I'm talking a little more so than usual. Uh, I made this video about 4.15 a.m. this morning after being enraged by a TV commercial uh, and about an hour after I'd taken some NyQuil to, for a sore throat. So I'm not quite sure I remember everything I said. So I just want to let everyone know that. I mean, I, uh, in fact, I think if you pay real close attention to the video, you can notice uh, in a multiple places where I seem to have had like many aneurysms and I seem to forget what's going on. Uh, but, you know, I said it, so I'm going to stand behind it. But I just wanted you all to watch it knowing, like I said, that this ain't exactly my most stable work. All right, I'm going to warn people right up front. This is going to be one of those rambling, frothing at the mouth, you know, Yankees on his period videos. Because I wasn't even going to make a video today. It's going to take kind of a day off till my live chat later. I wasn't even going to go to the gun shop. But I was watching TV and a commercial came on that really just caused me to, you know, blow my top. Just lose it. I'm like, i got to go make a video. Uh, well, that's about as boisterous as I get when I lose it. It's like, i got to go make a video at my age. That's our rallying cry. Or so that's our uh, a war cry, I should say. But uh, like I said, rambling and off topic already. But uh, the commercial I saw today that set me off so much was uh, this new career that's presenting itself now after the pandemic and this new career path that people can get themselves on that's a lucrative job. And what is it? It's contact tracing. You know, the contact tracing uh, career, that new profession that you can get into. Uh, well, I hate to break it to them. It does sound interesting, of course, to a lot of people out there, especially if you're looking for a job. But it's not new. It's been around before in different names. It's just that people don't, you haven't called it contact tracing in the past. What they've called it in the past is, you know, Big Brother, Secret Police. Gestapo. Those are the names they've chosen for them in the past, but now it's Contact Tracer. And they say we need to do this, but it's only for sick people. It's only for people that have the risk of getting sick. If you've been somewhere where there's an outbreak, this is only for disease, and it would only affect people that actually end up in these areas where there's disease and stuff, and they might catch something. So you shouldn't really worry too much about it because it's not like something we'll be using all the time. It's just for like pandemics and stuff like this. Yet we're going to build this, you know, everyday career for people around it and just gather all this information that mostly we won't use because there won't be a pandemic. Uh, don't believe that. The government uses whatever they have. In fact, once they have a system, they justify using that system to do something they shouldn't do. Uh, they'll say, well, we've already got this. We've got to use it. We can't let it sit around and just be wasting taxpayers' money gathering information and not using it. But like I say, getting off track again. Like I say, this job's existed before in the past. Uh, and they always sell these things to people under a different skin when they sell it. But it's always the same thing. It's always one more step to fascism. And I hate to break it to you, every stop on the path to fascism is lit up with bright neon signs that say, remember, it's for your own safety. And that's how we're trying to sell this contact tracing thing. It's for your own safety. It won't affect you. It'll only affect people in the case of a pandemic and if they've actually been somewhere. You know, that's kind of like when after 9-11, the government passed the Patriot Act and they uh, said things like, oh, warrantless wiretapping is good. It's only going to be against the terrorists. We're only going to use that against terrorists. You don't got to worry about it by letting us record all phone calls because it's only going to affect terrorists. So people are like, oh, if it's just for terrorism, you know, it's not like it's part of our daily life, blah, blah, blah. You know, flash forward till they find out they're listening to everybody. And then they're like, well, hey, well, how did the government's like, well, hey, well, how do we know you're not a terrorist if we don't listen to you, if we don't record your calls? So people walk right into the they take that one more step to fascism and yes i know i'm rambling and this probably doesn't make any sense but like i say this kind of thing upsets me uh but losing track of where i was here uh this type of thing is going to get used if it's put in place uh, so even though they say now oh it's just for like in case of a pandemic and in case of infection and then we can let people know but the system itself basically lets them know where people are at all times, anytime. And if they're going to have a career of gathering that information, they're going to have to find other things to use that information for just to justify the government jobs of the people who are doing it. So they're going to start saying things like, you know, they're going to sell you on this just for the people who are going to get sick. And then you're going, oh, it's just for people who are going to get sick. It's not me. Uh, and then you find out later they're tracking everybody all the time. And they're like, well, we got to be careful because there's other sicknesses other than uh, uh, just 
illnesses like viral illnesses, bacterial illnesses, the, you know, there's diseases of the mind, there's bad ideas, there's, you know, conspiracies and blah, blah, blah. So uh, we got to know if, hey, this, if this certain ideology was being preached at this church today that the government doesn't agree with, we have to contact every person that was there and know every person that was there so we can make sure they haven't been infected with these anti-government ideas. You know, so it's not hard for them to justify misusing this system once it's in place. But, uh, and I know this video is probably not going to make any sense at the end. I just want you to get a sense of how uh, frustrated I am here because, like I say, and I might have gotten lost in my point along the way, if they start gathering information like this all the time on us, all the time, where we're at, where we go, what we do, even who we talk to, etc., uh, do you think they're not going to try to find other ways to justify using that? Uh, and the fact that people can even be fooled into letting this pass by, I can't understand. And I know that a lot of them are sitting back like, we got a Republican government right now. We ain't got to worry about anything. Yeah, it's the Republican government that's passing this yet, trying to get this stuff approved. Just like George Bush with 9-11 and the Patriot Act. That's one thing we can't blame on the left. You know, we got to keep our eyes open left and right here. Uh, they are not going to gather this type of information and just use it for, you know, the every hundred years when we have a pandemic, they'll use it to stop the spreads of other diseases like ideas they don't agree with, etc. So don't be fooled. This isn't just a, you know, will only be used a little bit of the time and won't affect our rights. This is handing over our rights to privacy, our rights to travel unrestricted. This is just handing things over for no reason other than it's for your own good. Would it save some lives? Maybe. But you could also argue you could save just as many lives as if during a pandemic we have an outbreak, we set out alerts to everyone's cell phone that say, if you were at this location, you probably need to be tested. You've probably been exposed. So go to this free testing site, you know, whatever. And then you do make the responsible decision of a responsible citizen. That's what they would do. That could save some lives just as many um, uh, as much as contact tracing. But they want contact tracing because, like I say, they want to have the information. Then they can make justification for using it however they want afterwards. But they want to have it in place. And they want us to have us be okay with the idea that people are tracking us where we go and who we talk to and what we share and, you know, etc. So don't be fooled. I mean, I think it's just, it was just blatant. What made me so upset is it's just it's so blatantly advertised on TV. I mean, to me sitting there watching that, that's like I was watching, you know, the Flintstones reruns and an ad comes on that says, hey, join the Gestapo. Do you know your neighbors sometimes do things that is bad for them and bad for you? Well, we need to know when they do those bad things or the bad things happen. We need to know who's there. So why don't you go down, sign up for the Gestapo down in Washington, D.C.? That's just what that commercial was like to me. So like I say, no, I'm rambling, but this whole idea of contact tracing, I said earlier in the video, this is the worst thing that's going to come out of this uh, pandemic, and I was absolutely right. Uh, so I'm just, it's one of those instances where it just got me riled up, you know, and I'm, I'm babbling to a camera. But uh, this is going to make people think I'm mentally uh, just uh, uh, unstable or something. But it's just, I'm like, how do people not see this is not fascism? It's fascism. Contact tracing is fascism. Every time one of your politicians is on TV talking about how we got to start contact tracing, let them know that's fascism. We don't accept that here. And we're not going to accept that you're only going to do it under certain special occasions because the government never only does things under certain special occasions. They get the most out of everything they can get. So do not allow stuff like contact tracing to go by just to get put past you. Fight back against it. This is a great assault on our rights. This is a great assault on our freedoms. And I hope everyone else out there is half as riled up as I am.